hello hello guys welcome to the channel once again the name is Boroboa here in today's tutorial we are going to talk on how to use the program this the new version which is the version 2.6 to remove hello screen Pasco device iPhone unavailable or the iPhone disabled as well as MDM devices and now the program they do support other iPhones like the 5s 4x and the rest so here on our desktop we have to download the program that's the latest version which i already have it been downloaded so if you haven't downloaded the program this the latest version then now is the time to check this video description and download the latest version so after downloading just extract the file onto your download folder or onto your desktop so here i have it already been extracted onto our desktop right over here so uh, we will proceed to open the extracted folder and run the program this from the extracted folder so here we have the program this here let's run it and as i said this program this latest version support older os version also the older iphone ipad models so here or uh, we just have to run and wait for the program this to launch if you are watching this video give this video a like and subscribe if you are new to my channel um so here we have the program this right over here and here is the ui as usual very simple and well designed so here we have to connect our device to the computer and since our device is on passcode or unavailable screen we cannot detect our device so we have to put it into recovery mode so when you get your device in recovery mode broke should now detect your device showing your device product type device type iphone 7 right over here for the tutorial and we have our ecid being registered and if your ecid is not being registered copy it and click on register here under the ecid status and now the first option to do or to perform is to check or detect the ios version so we know that our device is on ios 14 and now based on this we know the device os version so now we can move to option and now here we can check um the tags that you need to perform uh, for your device like the mdm bypass remove apple id jailbreaking your device as well as removing hello screen activation lock and here we are performing only the bypass passcode with ramdex method so after checking the option for passcode disable screens just move to next and click start to put our device into dfu so follow the instructions click start and hold the volume down and the power key for iphone 7 and upward and wait for your device to get into dfu and when your device put into dfu the next step we are going to do is to select the ios version so as i didn't mention you have to check and know the ios version that you are on so here we know that we are on ios 14 so if you are on ios 15 check the ios 15 option and for the 8x you can check ios 16 if you are on ios 16 and for the ipad models you can check if you are on ios 17 so now knowing that we are on ios 14 we now have to download the boot file for our ios version so we know we are on ios 14 so we just have to move to the ios 14 respective folder and you can see we have all os version in there so just move into your os type and move into if you have ios 15 move to ios 15 folder so mine is 14 so i move into 14 folder now you need to move back to broke and know your product type before you download the exact product type for your device so um you can go back to broke and find your product type then knowing your product type you come in back to the download section and and when you take a close look you do see that we only have only one boot file which is because we did record this video before the full upload of the ram base was being done so just move into your respective folder and download your boot file so now we know our boot file is this we can now double click on it and start downloading the boot file now wait for the boot file to be downloaded so guys if you are enjoying this video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new 
to my channel and make sure to give a like to the video and also share this video on all your social media platforms give a like if you are enjoying it so when you are done downloading just close from your browser and locate where you did download the boot file to so here move into your program this under group lab and in lab you have your boot file open the boot folder and now drag and paste in your boot file into that boot folder now we can proceed to boot device so wait for the boot device and it may take a few minutes depending on your computer processing power so let's wait and see we can see a variable boot on our device and when you do face any error saying device fails to boot to ssh mode then click on ok and you have to click on try and this should fix the unable to boot to ssh mode so we successfully booted to ssh mode and we can click on ok and proceed to the next step by clicking on next and here we can take in the backup of our device so you can also check this option if you need to have your icloud details for you to be able to reset your device so we can click on backup device and wait for the backup to take place and after a successful backup you should have a pop-up folder or a pop-up folder showing you your backup file so we have it successfully back up our activation files so we have the pop-up showing us our backup files and you can enter into the zip file and you can see even the iCloud information where you have your iCloud information username and as well as contact so after doing that we cannot erase our device and wait for the device to fully be erased and after the erase is being done we can move back to group and follow the same steps to and so then we successfully erase our device and we are on the hello screen or the activation lock screen also iphone lock to owner so if you are able to to use the icloud info inside your backup file then you can use it to reset your password and proceed under activation lock screen you provide your activation lock screen password and you get your device activated and if you do not know your previous apple id then just put your device into recovery mode again or just use broke to get your device into recovery mode and when you get into recovery mode let's switch to our desktop right over here and click on done and we just have to move into options again now check passcode bypass ram decks and if you went for hello bypass check hello bypass now click start and follow screen instructions to get your device in dfu when you're in dfu move to select version make sure to check your ios version and now we can click boot device wait for device to be booted and connect to ssh mode successfully and when we are connected to the ssh successfully you can click on ok next and and we use the activate device to get our device to be activated so now we can check this option when you check this option meaning you bypass your device straight to the lock screen and if you don't check that option you get your device on the hello screen and you have to set up your device manually so let's wait for the device to be activated and we have successful message from the two saying we've successfully activated our device so let's wait for the device to boot up for the second time and when your device boot up you now have your device fully activated you can now make calls or um, sign in into your iCloud ID and also use Siri so that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching and we see how far this broke RAM this tool is powerful enough to remove any lock on your device and make sure to donate to the developer of this tool to keep this tool still for free and if the developer don't get enough donation i think this tool might go for premium so make sure to donate and support the developer of this tool and you can see this tool works on all os version including ios 17 for the ipad models and also if you do have old model like iphone 5x for and the other iphones you can use broke now to unlock such devices 
and as well as the Techmi 8 S Play devices. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. The name is Guru Boy. Peace out.